Whoa. It's Goblin. Gobella. Goblin D's nuts. <laughs> it's me. It's it's me on a Thursday. Manamana. All right, buddy boy. It's time to get down and dirty with some Sesame Street puppets. I got cripplingly depressed yesterday and went to a freaking hell bakery and bought a bunch of freaking like I don't know how to describe them like croissants that have like stuff in them. Yeah, I've had some of those before. I bought a dozen depressants. Yeah. Oh, I figured out what the glasses are for. Yeah. That are in our box. It's for a alternate cutscene where we give the big bird thing its glasses back. Yeah, we'll have to remember to go back for that. Um, we do look at you. Look at your inventory again. How many spaces do you have? Four. There's supposed to be three masks that we put on statues. I actually have been doing relatively a uh, good bit of research into this game because I actually really like this game. Yes! Finally! On Bounce Pad, one of us knows what we're doing. <laughs> so on the unfriendly difficulty... Okay. The statues, uh, like that statue of the big glob dude comes alive. That's crazy. It really does? Yeah. And like that uh, one statue of the puppet that was holding the uh, bolt cutters. Yeah. It also comes alive when you get the bolt cutters. Do they take like extra hits to kill? Yeah, like that. That would come alive. So we've already been in here. I know for a fact because we got the uh, the grenades. We did this little broom closet. Yeah. There's something else, though. If my calculations are correct. They are not. They are not. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> I think it's the bottom floor. There is supposed to be something that we can do in here because I uh, I don't want to brag, but I also did a, a tiny bit of research on my part. Is this game only on PC? I don't know. That's a good question. But we've already done our research for this episode, so we can't exactly go and figure that out right now. Well, I'm looking it up right now because nope, I actually- No, that's illegal. Stop it. Stop it. No. There we go. Hey, okay. There go. Progress. So we are clearly supposed to be going also that way. Oh, it's- I think we already- It's the other side. No, no. We've been in the uh, in-between Oh, we've been room. there. We just have- yeah, yeah, I get I get what you- I'm picking up what you're putting down there, buddy boy. Okay. All right. As long as we're like- Oh, that's yeah, totally I missed. What am I hitting? There you go. Yeah, because I'm actually like very... Th this game's actually really cool. I, I like it a lot. Bro is unfazed by getting hit by a giant metal letter. Oh, they're puppets. They're not exactly people. Oh, that, that sounded a bit racist. You know what that I apologize? Was, that was very racist. I apologize Post to Elliot censor to that. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 <laughs> it would only make it worse. <laughs> we do not want it getting out to a certain demographic. That statement Nathan just said. Eww, tugs collar. <laughs> Ooh, yikes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but dabbo. Ooh. Open the fridge. I feel like yeah. there's something in there. There's going to be a dead body. <gasps> Chocolate bar. <laughs> I want the bacon and eggs. Uh, open door. Very cool. All right, so this is where we were. Yodel Master DX907. Welcome back to Mix FM. <laughs> Look at that. Hey. Yes. <gasps> Mask. We don't have room. I need it. All right. Because you just picked up that health potion. Um, You know what we're going to do, though? Health potion. We're going to use this. We're going to move this here. And look at that. Now we got space. Let's go. Okay, so let's find the place to put the masks. Yeah. I think there might be one more. Roxy, how did you manage to tie yourself up like that? What? You don't even have thumbs. I'm impressed. Roxy, you also threw away the key to the padlock tying your binds. What's uh, what's going on here? No, she has like a little like cloth rope thing. That she likes to, like, you know, play tug of war with. Yeah, I know. I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> yes, I am also in the same room as you. <laughs> I also see a pair of handcuffs very kinkily draped around Would her neck. Stop? And I'm honestly... She's a minor, Elliot! Get away from my dog! <laughs> a minor inconvenience, maybe. I actually did buy uh, Resident Evil 4. I still haven't played it yet. 
the remake or the, the, the original port? The original... The, I think it's, it's the remake, not the re... Master? What's a I the one that's HD, but the one that's not like entirely new plotline? I just call that one the re-release. I don't know what you call it, but yeah, the one that was released. I call in it like, the re-release. The one that was released in like 2018. I, think? I call it the re-release. Okay. <laughs> call it whatever you want. I don't care. Just don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> All right, so we need to figure out this key code. Okay. No. <laughs> we, could, we could also just look it up, but uh, that would be no fun. I'm missing something in here. What am I missing? It might not be available yet. You know what isn't available, Nathan? Next, no. <laughs> My emotional state. Oh, don't don't talk to me about that. I I got depressed and bought a dozen freaking stuffed croissants yesterday. What what do you mean by depressed? Let's dive into this. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna get too far into it. So I went. No, we're gonna we're gonna get pretty deep into it. I'm sorry, man. I went to physical therapy yesterday. Okay. And the entire thing. So I've been I've been out of work for like a whole freaking month at this point, right? Yeah. The 25th was a month. Which we established is something you don't like to do. I, I've been, you know, doing freaking, you know, my physical therapy and stuff like that. It's actually been going pretty well. Yeah. But um, unfortunately for me, um, I talked to the freaking the physical therapist. Mm -hmm. And so I can only go back to work if I'm completely. Oh, my gosh. We need. <sighs> hmm. We're going to have to deposit something. Or we could discard that and come back for it later. Oh, does this stick on the ground? I don't know. Let's hope so. Nope. Ah, uh, cringe. Anyways, continue, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically... Is that it? Is that, or do we need two? I don't know, but Puppets Out of Space is out of touch with reality here. Yeah. Two out of five. Yeah, yeah he pulls collar. <laughs> so, no, I went to the physical therapist, and I go back to the doctor next Tuesday mm -hmm. to hopefully get cleared to go back to work. Yeah. And I was talking to the physical therapist about it, and he was like, I can see you going back and then being like, you know... You can take off the brace, you're good, you know, all that kind of stuff. But he's like, I really can't see them going from... I was under a five-pound restriction, right? I couldn't lift more than five pounds with the arm, right? Okay. He's like, I can't really see them going from five pounds to you're good to go. Yeah. He's like, I could see them going from like five to maybe 15, 20. And if that happens, I can't go back to work. Yeah. So I'm going to be out of work for even longer. Oh, that sucks, man. Oh. Well, put on, put on two. What's number two? <gasps> Whoa. It's Goblin. Gobella. Goblin, these nuts. <laughs> it's me. It's, <laughs> it's me on a Thursday. But yeah. So I got... I got depressed after physical therapy, and I was like, I'm going to go get me some horribly unhealthy food. <laughs> Aw, man. That's okay. We all have those days. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Should we really just walk by it? Oh, there's another diamond door. With our luck, we probably did walk right by it. Oh, okay. I see where it is. All right. Where's executive hallway? It doesn't say exactly where it is. But yes. Okay. So it's that one red diamond door we didn't go to yet. All right, so Perfect. do you have? Do you know where to find all four of the masks? I think so. We have three of them. One, two, yes. three, and then. So we're going to have to. Da nope, we don't have. <sighs> Damn. I guess discard it. Yeah, that's. I mean, I hate. I hate discarding. One less bullet in the head of a puppet. <sighs> all right, so hold on. We're looking, the place where the actual statues are is like a blue hallway with a staircase. Yeah. 
Okay, so... Because it's like it's like that statue. Oh, it's right through that door. It's through that door. That's where yeah. the masks go. Yeah. But first, check this out, Nathan. Oh my gosh, Ellie, what are you doing? <gasps> no! No, that, he's so angry! <laughs> that's it, Nathan. Me. I'm angry. <laughs> that's it. I've had enough. I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> and let's just let's just go put the masks on. That would free up a bunch of our yes. inventory. Ah, I need all that ammo, but ah, I can't get it. Inventory ah, management. Now I'm really angry. Ah. <laughs> SpongeBob, me Bob, me boy, no, me Bob. No, you stop that right <laughs> now. I can't. I can't process that. This should be a blue hallway. Yes, up that staircase. Mezzanine. You can kill the June bug if you want. Oh, June bug. I like that. That's a <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. So what All we right. have to do is we have to read the plaque. Okay. George. George. Liliana. June bug. And our friends feel a lot of feelings. June, June bug, bug had, had a good, good day. day. Norman right. had a bad day. So June bug's happy. Yeah. Oh, okay, it just automatic. I, I thought it was gonna have you like pick it. Norman had a bad day. I was about to say, I think it just automatically. I don't really. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Sad. That, I feel that's like, like a bad day. Yeah. What's the other one? Liliana found a big mouse. Okay, that's a scary. George one. got cut off in traffic. <laughs> big mouse. <laughs> cut off in traffic. I am going to commit road rage. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Oh. Ooh, oh. Hello. Pool. Hey. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dice, dude. We're living large. I don't know what that's for, but oh, it's hey. for uh, it's for playing craps. Oh, let's go find the crap station. <laughs> we do not have a diamond key or the crap station. That's what they called my room in high school. <laughs> they were very mean to me. This is going to be a weird question, so just go with it. Do you derive a lot of, I guess, f joy slash fulfillment from your job? Uh, no. I just need money to live. That's true. That's true. <laughs> and when I'm not working, I feel like a deadbeat. Okay. That makes sense. Like, it was, it was fine, you know, for like, okay, first, like, week or two. Like, I was like, okay, this is fine. But when I went back in, when I went back in, they put the brace on my arm and told me I was going to be out for three more weeks. I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> are you still getting paid, though? I, I run. I would honestly run out of time, uh, like right at November 8th. Yeah. So you'd have to work through Christmas. Well, I mean, I. So basically, the entire thing is, if I run out of sick time and vacation time, I don't make money anymore. Yeah. I won't get fired. Like, I keep my job through FMLA, but yeah. I don't get paid. FMLA. <laughs> my Life Association. No, I think it's Family Medical Leave Act is actually what oh, it stands yeah, for. Oh, yeah, yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. That's, that sounds more correct than mine. That sounds, that sounds more political, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> But it's like, man, I don't, yeah. Screenshot, this goes hard. It does. I'm actually going to make that my profile picture. The shirt is <laughs> one of looking out into the ocean. That's my profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> the gobbler. Because I know you said your work isn't exactly the best, the best. No, it's not like the best job in the world, but I mean, it's, you know, it makes me money. I get paid. Yeah, it's definitely a job. And I mean, I get paid pretty good, honestly. It's, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, don't worry about, don't worry about your job, man. There's going to be people there to do it for you and <laughs> you'll be fine. Okay, now we do this and we go here. Oh, oh. Oh, that's okay. Okay, so we place this one. Oh, 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 what? Oh no, this is this is gonna be a toughie. Okay, okay there we go. All right. Three. <laughs> what? Okay. okay, that's right. So this then one will we have need to, to be roll that six. to six. All right. 
and then three, which is the same as that one. Oh, okay. So it's just it's just the opposite number. So if it's a three, then it's a four. Uh. So two would be a five. Five would be a two. Look at that, Nathan. You play more dice games than I do. Ooh. Someone's been betting in Vegas casinos. What is that one? Four? Or is it five? Four. It's four. So one more. There you go. Six. Six. Bam. And, and then, then five. Five. Something clicked. Something clicked in my brain. My big brain. My massive brain. Are we just not going to open the other thing? Oh my gosh. Hydrotastic. spaces. All right. So we got to go do and Ray, go do race thing now, I guess. Okay. <laughs> that so I went and I saw the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Nathan, did you, did you get a chance to watch it? No, I have not. Do you have an interest in watching it? I should ask. Of course I do. Because I know you're not the world's biggest FNAF fan as you claim me to be. You're correct. I'm not the world's biggest FNAF fan, but I am probably the world's biggest Matthew Lillard fan. Oh, good Lord, that man. <laughs> what an actor. I really enjoyed the movie. And I think all the people complaining about it are boo-boo baby pants. Boo-hoo baby pants, I should say. So is it, yeah, it's, it's like straight across. Allow me to correct my, no, allow no, me no. to correct my Look language there. there. It's literally that door. Straight Nathan? across. Nathan? Yes? I literally have trouble navigating video games, so thank you. It's my ADHD. Bonk, bonk. So Bonk. is it actually confirmed that there's a that there's a FNAF movie too coming out? Yeah, Matthew Lillard signed a three deal, a three picture deal. Good. And also, uh, the movie made back its money for production costs just by selling the streaming rights because the movie only cost about twenty five million dollars to make, which is insane. Most modern Marvel movies cost. Where does this go? Uh oh, I, I guess we're going on an elevator, Nathan. Uh oh, whoopsie doopsie. It's out of my hands. Oh, we're back here. So, like, most modern Marvel movies cost like hundreds of millions of dollars, and this one cost $25 million, which is crazy because they built like actual animatronics that work. Wow, imagine that, you know, freaking, what's it called? Uh, practical effects aren't as expensive as. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Might not be as expensive as just, you know, oh, we'll do it in post. <laughs> and they also, uh, they... What the heck so did you just pick up? What was a that? A pump piece! Do it a pump piece! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Oh, ah! Um, they also took over an abandoned Home Depot and built the entire pizzeria set inside of an abandoned Home Depot. <laughs> See, that's fun. Which is really cool. You can move one of the tokens to the other one. <gasps> oh. Yeah, only one of them, though. Well, you know what Mother always said, Nathan? Four tokens is enough money to buy rent in this economy. I think she was going senile. <laughs> I think she was honestly kind of crazy, but you know what? It's all right. Oh. <laughs> well... Well, we have it Anyways, room. we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> we made it, dude. Oh, I found the pump. Pace. Inspect. Place tank. They should fix that elevator. They should fix that elevator. Josh Hutcherson hasn't been in a lot of stuff. I mean, Hunger Games, but like before that, he was on, only in like Zathura. Uh, but, excuse me, Zathura. Wasn't he in uh, freaking, what's it called? Bridge to Terabithia? That is true. He was in Bridge to Terabithia. What is the music? It's like that oh, one song. Oh, it's for the movie. Song. Okay, I was yeah. like, what? <laughs> That's just <laughs> Goblet's theme song. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? What is he doing? It's a girl. What's she doing? <laughs> <laughs> what that dog doing? <laughs> is she depressed? Nathan. Stop. I'm don't. depressed. Oh, okay. I thought you were about to make a joke. I was like, don't you dare. I'll go eat another freaking pastry. <laughs> Do you want me to make the joke? No. <laughs> I've I already eaten there. one. Hey, it's okay, buddy. I can go there. Let's go say hi to Goblet. Let's go watch the movie with her. Hello? Oh, 
It's a, it's freaking. This is me watching the FNAF movie by myself. You're telling me grass fed this beef? <laughs> I was like, I'd honestly never seen that one before. I was like, that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> oh, her fingers are salt, salt shakers. Life can get you down sometimes, huh? Aww. First time I ever saw a movie as a kid. There was this scene of a man riding into this big, blazing sunset, and I remember when it came up, it just caught me. I don't know if it was the plot or the music or what, but my heart just suddenly leapt, like, like I had just heard an old friend calling my name. And I sort of forgot myself and turned around, thinking someone was behind me. But all I saw was a little star of light coming from the projection booth. No one else turned around. They all were just focused on the screen. But it felt so real. So solid. <laughs> Never knew what to make of that. And eventually I forgot about it. I guess during the war I got distracted. But it just came back to me now. <laughs> 